Hello there, I'm Luca Ricci and I'm a musician. In today's lesson, I will explain you inversions and seventh chords. First, let's start with the concept of inversion. It is called an inversion and a triad where the root note isn't in the lowest voice. Inversions have a different harmonic tension and quality to root position chords, creating variety and interest in music. To accurately understand inversions though, we have to first understand how the notes inside a chord are called. Let's take as an example a C major chord, composed of the notes C, E and G. The first note of a chord, C, is called tonic or root. The second note of a chord, E, is called third and defines the type of chord, either major or minor. The third note of a chord, G, is called fifth. This is important, as the lowest voice of the chord defines what inversion the chord is in. A triad or a three-tone chord can be in three different inversions. The root position, where the tonic of the chord is in the lowest voice, the first inversion, where the third of the chord is in the lowest voice, the second inversion, where the fifth of the chord is in the lowest voice. In historic practices and in the common practice, the way to notate the position of a chord is done through the practice of figured bass. But what is a figured bass? Figured bass is a rotation practice in which inversions are indicated by Arabic numerals, the figures, below the best notes, indicating the position of the chords. When referring to the possible inversions of the triad, there are three possible figures with their abbreviation. The root position can either be notated as a 3-5 or with no symbol. The first inversion can either be notated as a 3-6 or with a 6. The second inversion can be notated as a 4-6. When analyzing a tonal piece, it's very helpful to keep in mind some rules to find the inversion and the tonic of a chord. To find the tonic of a chord with a figured bass symbol, you simply have to check the first even number from the bottom. For example, in a 3-6 inversion, the first even number from the bottom is a 6, so the tonic is a 6th from the bass note from E to C, for example. To find the inversion without the figured bass symbol, you have to count the notes and put them in order from the lowest to highest in a way that they are always a third from one another. For example, if we have in order D, G and B, we reorder them as G, B, D and we find it's a G major chord that's in cycle inversion. Of course, this takes some practice, so don't sweat it. Now that we've grasped the concept of inversions in triads, we can talk about 4 tone 7th chords. What is a 7th chord? A 7th chord is a chord consisting of a triad plus a note forming an interval of a 7th above the chord's root. There are 7 types or species of 7th that generates from the different major and minor modes. The first piece, dominant 7th, can be found on the 5th grade of the major tonality and is formed by a major 3rd plus a perfect 5 plus a minor 7th. The second piece, supertonic 7th, can be found on the 2nd grade of the major tonality and is formed by a minor 3rd plus a perfect 5 plus a minor 7th. The third piece, leading tonic 7th, can be found on the 7th grade of the major tonality and is formed by a minor 3rd plus a diminished 5th plus a minor 7th. The fourth species, tonic 7th, can be found on the first grade of the major tonality and is formed by a major 3rd plus a perfect 5 plus a major 7th. The fifth species, diminished 7th, can be found on the 7th sharp grade of the minor tonality and is formed by a minor 3rd plus a diminished 5th plus a diminished 7th. The sixth species can be found on the first grade of the minor tonality and is formed by a minor 3rd plus a perfect 5 plus a major 7th. The 7th species, median 7th, can be found on the 3rd grade of the minor tonality and is formed by a major 3rd plus an augmented 5th plus a major 7th. How does the 7th chord resolve? 
Since the seventh chords are built on specific degrees of the scale, they will resolve following the rules of functional harmony that we've seen on the previous video. Of course, seventh chords also have inversions that follow the same rules mentioned previously. The root position can either be notated as a 3, 5, 7 or with a 7. The first inversion can either be notated as a 3, 5, 6 or with a 5, 6. The second inversion can be notated as a 3, 4, 6 or with a 3, 4. The third inversion can be notated as a 2, 4, 6 or with a 2, 4 or 2. In the next lesson, we will put to practice the rules we learned in these past 8 episodes, harmonizing a short chorale. See ya!